Bingo, three, two, one. Hey everybody, welcome, uh, welcome to the shop here. We got Rojo in the house today. Woohoo, Rojo! Woo! <laughs> and uh, today we want to talk about the selection of tires and other repairs that we're doing to the to the KLR here to get it ready for the big adventure ride. Um, so the tires actually, um, Everide had some tires already that he had purchased uh, for this bike before um, he sold it to his brother-in-law and they were brand new, never having been mounted before and the other tires were kind of cracked and dry rotted a little bit. So uh, what we've got here is a uh, is a Shinko is the brand name. It's the Shinko E705, which is kind of a supermoto tire. Um, it's called the Trailmaster. If you can look at the tread pattern, it's kind of got these big blocks of tread, which means it's going to last a little bit longer. Uh, it's got a round profile that will make it nice for for riding on the street and fire roads. And yet, there's enough, I think, um, of of uh, lug pattern in there that you can still ride it off-road some, just not on real super hardcore trails. Um, and also, um, for rain, you want to have some areas that the rain can evacuate while riding down the street, and this tire actually looks pretty good for that. So what we did is we, uh, we mounted uh, some super heavy-duty tubes in here, and we also set him up with a rim lock uh, that the KLR is not, does not come from the factory stock with. So. We've got a Rimlock heavy duty tube and this new Shinko Trailmaster tire for the back. Uh, we've done the same thing for the front. You can see the tread pattern uh, on the front. And uh, we're going to, uh, we did the same thing, heavy duty tube, uh, the new tire, and a single Rimlock. And you can kind of see we had to add some weights to the other side to compensate for the Rimlock. Um, if you put two Rimlocks on and you do it on opposite sides, um, that tends to balance the tire out, but it's not really necessary. So, you know, if you have to change a tire on the side of the road and you've got two rim locks to deal with, that's much more difficult. So that's one of the reasons that we um, chose to do one. So the other thing is these, these wheels are going to get a lot of mileage, and we have no idea what the condition of the bearings are inside of here. Uh, I'm guessing that um, they've maybe never been changed for the life of the bike. So one thing we don't want to have happen is have them get two, three hundred miles down the road and then have a bearing start squealing on them. So we have here uh, from Pivot Works a lifetime replacement uh, guarantee on a new set of wheel bearings for the back wheel and the front wheel. So we're going to uh, go ahead and knock these bearings out and replace them. The other thing we have is a new set of brake pads that's going to go on the rear and uh, the other ones are they look like they're oil saturated. So the other thing is we're going to go up one tooth on the front sprocket. He's got a 14 on it right now. This is from JT Sprockets. And uh, we're going to go up to a 15, which will get him a little bit better highway mileage and uh, touring type, type mileage and keep the RPMs of the motor down a little bit. Um, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to set him up with a brand new uh, Renthal chain. It's an O-ring. I think it's a 520. Yeah, it's a 520. Uh, style chain, uh, gold for the bling factor, and that'll be new, so uh, we won't have to worry about any chain problems. And uh, just a little plug here, all of the uh, parts were provided by uh, Duff's Racing. Uh, we'll put a link in the description. Um, if you're in the Utah area, um, we really recommend that you contact Tom down at Duff's, and he'll make sure you get the right stuff for your KLR. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this stuff, and we'll get back with you in a minute and show you the progress. 